Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is without question one of the greatest games alive out there. Not only has it been nominated the best fighting game of 2019, not only is it the second best selling game on the Switch, not only is it a personal series to many of us such as me, but it also has terrible online that can really ruin you. Here's my reasons why. If for whatever reason you have not played Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, or if you're not even aware about this game, it's basically a 3D platform fighting game, taking a bit of similarities from Mario, who 3D platforms of course, and of, of course kind of takes the traditional fighting games, but doesn't require you to have health bars, but instead requires you to have a percentage where the higher the percentage is, the further you are launched, and the goal is to get your opponent off the stage, any way, shape, or form. Oh! No! I do that every time! <laughs> While all that is good and dandy, and it's caused it to be, again, the best fighting game of 2019, with a massive roster of over more than 70 plus characters, the online is unexcusably terrible. And you've got to pay money to play it online? But this better work. This better work good this time. Nope. This is terrible. There are two reasons I can think of why the online is absolutely horrendous. Number one, it has taken the idea of quick play is basically the same thing as casual and ranked in the exact same mode, which doesn't mix together very well. Because when you have preferred rules, where it's basically, again, whether if you're clarifying a casual or ranked, and they mishmash it together to where they get really unbalanced rules, it creates a lot of exploits on quick play, and it creates a unenjoyable experience for the person who just wants to play the game fairly and of course the player who just wants to exploit the online is just proving his point about how terrible it is and second the biggest hurt of it is that its netcode is very bad very 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 bad i mean it is so bad it can either go from either a because the input delay is so bad that you have a whole second of input lag for some reason or b the game is straight up telling you, nope, sorry, you can't play the match anymore. Just watch this chopped off movie instead. Ha 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 ha. And while it may be good and dandy about how some of the online matches could be very good at times, it's only because either A, the person is using a LAN adapter, which 10% of the people that play Smash's Ultimate probably don't have, or B, the person just happens to be in your country. Or like, literally only a few states away. You get some dude that's the greatest player in Europe and he has to play against some guy in SoCal, in Grand Blue, or Tekken, or Dragon. And not only to top it all that off, not everyone's gonna also have really good online. You can't just expect some nine year old to be playing Super Smash Bros. Ultimate with the most cut cornered perfect online imaginable. Just that stuff doesn't happen. A good example of a fighting game that actually has a good netcode online is Mortal Kombat 11. With the actual good rollback netcode, it can actually function decently like as if you're playing offline. There is a bit of a noticeable difference, but it's not as bad as Super Smash Bros. Ultimate 2 where, again, chopped off frames, looks like you're just watching some bad movie or something. Or you just can't even play the game at all. What we're really here for is the online, am I right fellas? Now think back to Brawl's online. Now, I know what you're all thinking, right? Well, okay, so maybe the, you know, the online is bad, but why would that hurt us in some way? Why would that scar me? Why would that drive me away from wanting to play Super Smash Bros. Ultimate online? There is a lot of reasons, actually. Number one, Wi-Fi Warriors. This game has a very big balancing difference between a lot of these characters. Characters such as Zelda, Sonic, or Banjo-Kazooie, Bowser, or whatever heavy character you can imagine are much better online because it is a lot harder to react to their moves, number one. And number two, they can cause a lot of camping, especially characters like, again, Sonic, Zelda, maybe even Samus as well. Simon, Richter, all those characters that camp with projectiles, they become a lot more harder to avoid because you can't react to something if you're going at like five frames a second or something. Number two, if you're just trying to get good at the game and you want to be competitive, i.e. me, you're going to want to be practicing a lot. And local is one of the best ways. But because, you know, online and local is a lot more of a different story, your practice is going to get very shaky and you probably may not even get practice at all. At that time, you're at that point, you're just literally killing yourself. The favor was all in you. Oh my gosh. Slight lag. I mean, very heavy on the inputs, but 
I don't know, might be doable. That also would kill me. Why did that not hit? Okay. That's a GG. Input was really heavy, but there's nothing we could do about that, right? And number three, one of the biggest hurtings of them all, a lot of tournaments are utilizing the online feature, and it is horrendously terrible, and some of the amazing Smash Bros. Ultimate tournaments online has already experienced some very awful things. That's right. Like, people don't really do that as much anymore. Oh, no. It's so far. It's magic. She is magical, after all. Yeah, you were he, Huh? Okay, that <laughs> is what, that was wild. No lag. That's right a good here. point. Yeah, if he gets the neutral air, he can convert. But he needs it like under the platform. That's oh, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's oh. And the worst part of all, one of those is going to be Evo. And you know what's also an Evo? These were the games, and are the games, of Evo 2020, right? Cool. Very cool. All these games have terrible online. So with that being said, I hope my short video essay has kind of shown you why Smash Bros. Ultimate's online is very horrendous. Even if you're not keeping up with the trend about this whole online is bad for Smash Bros. Ultimate, I hope that you understand now because, you know, it's me.